Outdoor Killing Things Network, the only network that loves killing things more than you do. Hey man, this is Dale. And this is Scooter. We are Hunting Stuff. Hey man, this is Dale here in the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Now, uh, due to the recent success of the Hunting Stuff series, me and Scooter have decided to uh, take on little dreams we've had. So Scooter is down in Mexico hunting for La Chupacabra. I'm here at Deer Camp. Actually, Deer Assassin Camp. But they wouldn't put assassin on the hat because it's a dangerous word. Anyway, I'd just like to show y'all what all I learned here at camp. Alright, this drill here is called the wall, because it's a wall. Alright, now we, we deer assassins know how to scale walls with expert stealth so that deer cannot catch us if they chase us. I will now demonstrate proper wall climbing technique. Hold on, give me, I gotta stretch first. Hold on. Okay. We'll get this wall. Okay, hang on. This is the third time's a charm. Let me, uh, let me loosen up the wall uh, a little bit there. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's real good. All right. All right, so that last drill wasn't quite as successful as I would have preferred. But I know what you're sitting there thinking. And no, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is not my son. But I know what else you're thinking. Dale. What are you doing at Deer Assassin Camp? Who hunts deer? I know, it's crazy, right? But Deer Assassin Camp is different. You gotta learn how to kill deer with your bare hands and sticks without them even realizing it. Very much like a tornado. Yeah. As I mentioned before, stealth is a very important part of deer assassinations. One of the most common stealth techniques of attack is the aerial attack which involves the element of surprise combined with the ancient art form of Deer Kwon Do. I will now demonstrate. Take that deer! And that deer never saw it coming. Another crucial element of deer assassinating besides stealth is the art of agility, which I will now demonstrate with this lovely agility drill. Oh man, thought you were a deer sneaking up on me. You gotta be careful with that stuff, man. Now I bet you're wondering, Dale, how did the art of deer assassination get started? Well you see, many years ago, back when the NASCAR championship was still called the Winston Cup, a few brave hunting pioneers went out to do some deer hunting. Well, it turns out early in the trip, they ran out of ammo. So rather than turn home, they just went and grabbed the nearest thing around them, sticks, and they proceeded to hunt deer. It would turn out that deer are actually allergic to sticks and the hunters proceeded to kill 15 deer per hour on average for the next three days and thus deer assassinating was born. Oh. <sighs> 
you have just wandered into the best part of deer assassin camp. After you've been chasing that deer through the woods all day, you want to lure him into here. This is the UFC octagon of deer hunting. This is the deer arena. This is where you finish him off with your stick. Like so. Well, I had an invigorating week here at Deer Assassin Camp. The things I learned in this week will stay with me for the remainder of mm, two days tops, I'd say. I can't wait to go home and meet up with Scooter and show him everything I know now that I didn't know before.